What is going on guys? It is Lely Torasx and this is episode 13 of my Master League Online series. We're going to the first match of this episode and you can see it's nearly half time. I'm 2 0 up and this is the moment which my opponent thought he'd got himself back into the match. First of all, I'm pretty sure that three ball was meant for the winger, not the striker. But he ends up forcing a good save from the keeper, but then he ends up knocking it into an empty net. I said that's why he thought he got himself back into this match because straight from the kickoff, Albin just goes on a crazy run. He takes out about three, four defenders here just by twisting and turning a trick or two here and there. And he ends up getting bought down just on the edge of the box. He goes down to 10 men and then Chivu steps up and just picks the gap between the goalkeeper and the defender. And the keeper can only push it into the back of the net and make it 3-1. Now this guy knew I was quite dominant, them stats don't tell you how dominant I was that much. When he realised, look, he's gone down to 10 men and I've got a 2 goal lead, he just ended up quitting that match. So now we're going to the second match of this episode and as you can see from the half time stats there really wasn't much action to show. But the second half was a total different story. From the moment that referee blew the half time whistle, the match just sprung into life. Within 3 minutes of resuming, Makula got through 1-1 on -one with the keeper, he made a bit of a meal of it but he ends up getting it past the keeper and makes it 1-0. But then within 3 minutes of me taking the lead, he gets it to Vatikole or whatever this guy's name is and Lolo just lets him walk past it. I don't know why he didn't respond to my input but he ends up taking a good strike from just a bit further out the edge of the box. It wasn't exactly a vicious strike but it seemed to do everything else right. It was well placed and always moving away from the keeper but that strike there, the keeper should have definitely done a lot more with that one because I was pretty much straight at him but he ends up parrying into the back of the net. Then he clips more and gives me a free kick in a very dangerous position especially if you've got Chivu in your team and for the second game in a row he puts it straight over the wall and into the back of the net. This was a bit of a crazy match because all the action seemed to be happening in 5 minute chunks. It's like in real life if you go toilet and then you come back and you miss 2 goals you think what the fuck and no one else is going to ask you what you went for there everyone knows exactly why you went but here Moore scored and really the keeper should have dealt with that I thought the defender had that covered as well and then here Lolo seems to be getting caught out of position all match this match and that's why there's gaps appearing in the defence but then Veta Curle does actually take this really well quite emphatically to be honest he smashed it in off the bar and makes it 3-3 and to be fair this was probably a fair result in the sense that he actually played with such an attack minded approach after half time both of us kind of had to wait till after half time and he probably deserved the draw. So now we're going into the third match of this episode and for some weird reason I don't know why but for some weird reason I felt really ambitious this match normally I don't have the urge to score from such long distances like at all but for some weird reason I just had to go for it this match and when I realised Makakula was playing crossbar challenge rather than going for goal I thought okay you know what I'll just go for goal and then I'll go for the long ranges again and this is the only free kick I got this match he started pressuring a lot higher up the pitch because he got scared of me shooting from that sort of range again and it ended up opening the scoring for me and once I opened the scoring there I didn't look back I won 5-2 quite comfortably as well to be honest now for the fourth match of this episode I just want to let you guys know that I got these 117 points kind of gifted to me because in the first 15 minutes he's gone 2-0 up and he gets himself sent down to 10 men but from the free kick Chivu for the fourth game in a row started becoming my hero here he got me back into the game but then at 2-2 he put the controller down and I kind of waited for him to come back and I thought okay too much time's going now so I went and scored a third and fourth and just killed the game off and that's why I said kind of because the game was kind of shifting my way anyway because I had the extra man and I you know as soon as I scored that free kick the game just started going my way but then look at this for the fifth game in a row Chivi it's like you might as well just put me on repeat here Chivu free kick goal, free kick Chivu goal, any variation goal is going to be the last one. So it did feel like I was on a repeat there with Chivu. But in the sixth match of this episode, Lolo gets attracted to the ball and ends up on the wrong side of Galeska, who plays a nice one-two, gets it back in the box and then puts it in the back of the net to make it 1-0. But this was one of those weird matches where you needed your team to go behind for them to spark into a reaction and start to attack with more conviction and once that happened then this match became really easy for me as you can see it only took me literally just a couple of minutes to get back into this match and then here you see Chivu intercept a pass which breaks kindly for Moore who takes one touch and passes it to Albin who returns it straight away and then he takes one more touch and then passes it into the back of the net to make it 2-1 it was only a matter of time before that goal came because as soon as I equalised attacking just became a lot more easier for me so here you can see that I get a really soft penalty decision here. I think the computer just wanted Chivi's goal scoring run to continue because that really should never have been a penalty. The ball was almost out of play when that happened and it had no bearing on what was going to happen next. And look at him, he just didn't know. He could not put off Chivi there. The goalkeeper dancing on the line wasn't going to make a slight bit of difference to Chivi there. But then here I couldn't believe what happened because when I actually took this shot I rolled my eyes away in disgust because I thought what a horrible attempt on goal that was. But then when I heard it I rubbed my eyes and I thought wait. 
Is that correct? Did the ball just go in the back of the net? I didn't actually see the goal go in at live time because I was actually looking the other way. I was just, I told you, I was disgusted with that attempt first because it just went so high and then I only actually saw it for the first time in the replay, like when I was actually editing, that's when I first saw it. But now we're going into the seventh match of this episode and it's just one of those matches. I don't care what ability you have in Pez. Every single Pez, you're going to have at least one of these matches where you're absolutely all over the guys, battering him. And it was just a shame for me that I happened to be in a Master League Online match. But it was just a match where I was doing absolutely everything right, but I just couldn't score. If you were playing in a match with your mates in the park or something like that, and you were playing with a bunch of friends, one of you would have stopped by now uh, within about 10 minutes and would have said, look, these teams are unfair. We've got to switch them up, make the game a bit more exciting. This guy, I was absolutely all over him. Not so much in the second half. I still had the better of him in the second half. But... It just wasn't meant to be, it was just one I was never meant to win. So now we're going to go into the last match of this episode and I wish I streamed this live because I would love to see your guys reactions of my reaction and whatever else was going on in the match. Because this match had it all, it had the little cheeky goal from him at the start. You should have seen my reaction at the time, I was like how dare you score like that against me. It fired me up as well but if you guys, that's something I might start doing soon, I might do Twitch or something like that because that way you guys can actually see me, you can hear my reaction, you guys can actually respond to me and actually like text to me and I'll you know just communicate with you like that so it's all live time and all that sort of stuff it's actually something I'm looking to get into Twitch but maybe that would be PES 2015 when it comes out on the PS4 but this match had it all and that's why I really want to do like live streaming because first of all you guys don't miss any of the action and you know what I'm going to be thinking because I'll be obviously telling you I'm going to change my formation or I'm going to do this because of this so you guys will know exactly what's going on through my mind at all times but then another thing is it will save me a lot of time when it comes to editing because a lot of time that I don't upload is because I just haven't got the videos edited in time and because I'm working obviously I don't have the same amount of time to edit like throughout the whole day sometimes I'll be working 10 hours a day sometimes 12 sometimes 6 so it just varies how much time I get to edit and obviously editing and rendering it all takes time but if I was doing it live streaming I could just be literally playing day after day and I don't have to worry about the editing and plus it would be probably be fun to do live stream because of, obviously like I said already because of the communication when I'm playing I'll be able to see your messages pop up on my screen I wouldn't have to type back I literally just answer you over the TV or whatever I'm saying because your messages will pop up on TV so it does sound like something interesting to me but let me know what you guys think in the comment section if you do like the idea then just follow me on Twitter because when I do start live streaming on Twitch I'll obviously tweet out that I'm going to be doing it then obviously you guys can watch it either on your phones tablets laptops and even on the PlayStation 4 and then you can get interacting with me there so that is the end of this episode guys if you did enjoy this episode remember to give it a thumbs up if you want to see more remember to subscribe and thanks for watching guys